Hey, this is Matt, and you're watching Divine Superconductor TV. This is a quick video review of Desert Farms Camel Milk. So I recently attended the Natural Products Expo West, and these guys were one of the few that approached me to do a video review for them. So I'm honoring that commitment. And I'm also a really big fan of milk in general. I think a lot of it has to do with my heritage, my European heritage. I am English, Austrian, and Italian. So my ancestors probably ate a lot of seafood and a lot of dairy. And I know that's true because when I eat those foods, my brain turns on and I have a ton of energy and I just feel great. I was raised on 2% milk in cereal. So most of my childhood I ate, you know, Honey Nut Cheerios and Lucky Charms. Those are my favorite too, with 2% milk. Now, that milk was in plastic and it was cut with tap water and the cows were tortured and shot full of hormones, antibiotics, steroids, all sorts of things. They were probably full of parasites. So just, you know, tortured, sick animals producing milk. And now we have the vegan movement that is very anti-dairy. And when people go vegan, a lot of the time they'll be healthier and they'll have less mucus and skin problems will go away, etc. That is because they're cutting out the pasteurized, homogenized dairy from sick animals, tortured animals. But they don't realize that there are alternatives. There are real farms that are not CAFO farms, confined animal feeding operations. And those are usually family owned small farms that I found a lot through Craigslist. But uh, you could just ask around at your co op and they'll probably, they can probably point you at farms, but you would be surprised how many farms you actually have around you. When I first got into raw milk, I went to Jersey Cows, which is heirloom variety of cow, you could say. Holstein cows, think of the ones with the black splotches. Those are extremely, extremely hybridized cows. They're, think of like a chihuahua versus a wolf. They're way closer to the chihuahua than the wolf because they've just been bred and bred and bred for generations to produce more milk. And over time, that milk has actually become inflammatory has to do with protein, A1 versus A2. Uh, you can look that up on YouTube. There's a great video called The Devils in the Milk, where a man named Sean Stevenson goes deep into that subject. And uh, it's very educational, but essentially all you need to know is that the Holstein cow has very inflammatory proteins, especially when the milk is cooked, aka pasteurized and then homogenized, um, so it's extremely processed. That's worlds away from raw milk. And raw milk is milk that has not been processed at all. So it comes directly from the cow, directly from the goat, or in this case, directly from the camel. There's all sorts of different milks out there. Human breast milk, which a lot of people are drinking, and a lot of vegans will make that argument. Well, if you're drinking this milk, why don't you drink human breast milk? Well, we're the only species that drives cars. We're the only species that uses computers. You know, we're... Yes, we are animals, but the situation is very different. There's, We've been eating things for generations. Our ancestors, our parents, their parents, their parents, their parents. So to just cut that stuff out right away, uh, I think we'll see a degeneration in the uh, genetic integrity of people to come. So 
personally, I think humanity is splitting into uh, kind of a weaker and a stronger uh, genetically expressed uh, Homo sapien. Uh, Vitalis calls it Homo domesticus fragilis. So it's a fragile human. I'm optimistic though. I think that uh, the best we can do is just share information and those that are receptive will take it and run with it. So with milk, I started with cow's milk and the proteins are bigger and then I went to raw goat's milk. And raw goat's milk is digest in 20 minutes, whereas cow's milk could take up to 24 hours to digest, even if it's raw. And in raw milk, there's enzymes and there's probiotics, and it's a lot more nutritious because when they cook it, they kill the heat sensitive enzymes and they kill the probiotics. And we've been kind of brainwashed to think that things that are sterile are better for us sterile water, processed water sterile milk, processed milk, processed food. It's this extracting and stripping down and cleansing when in fact processed products actually breed viruses, bacteria, pathogens, parasites especially in a body that eats a lot of processed ingredients. I've recently made the switch to even from processed water to what you could call raw water or unprocessed water. It's made a world of difference in my digestion and just my general well-being. So when you get to uh, camel's milk, this is definitely a luxury. This is more um, something, you know, you could buy this in big amounts. I'll probably most likely use this when I am traveling if I would like some raw milk and I see this at the store because it's a lot harder to harvest than cow milk and, and their, or goat milk. There aren't that many camel farms. Believe it or not, there are some in the U.S., and this is where this comes from. Our camel milk comes from U.S. camels and provides a sustainable source of income for small American farmers and their families. Camel milk is prized for centuries by nomads and Bedouins for its nutritional and unique properties. They advertise... 43% less fat than whole cow's milk. I'm kind of after the fat, so it's not really a selling point for me. But they say it's a good source of protein, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, and vitamin B1. No, no growth hormones, additive free, and this is raw. And like I mentioned, goat's milk takes 20 minutes to digest. This is even faster. And it has to do with the size of the protein. So cow's milk, Proteins are way bigger, goats are a lot smaller, and then camel is even smaller than goat. Without further ado, I'm going to drink this, and let's see how it tastes. Shake it up a little bit. That's definitely different than goat's milk. It's just a different aftertaste to it. If it starts to ferment, like this one did a little bit, it's important to understand that pasteurized milk and homogenized milk will actually go bad, but raw milk literally never goes bad because the probiotics in there, I mean, unless it's in crazy heat for a long period of time, but if it's in the fridge, all that will happen is that it'll start to culture and the bacteria, the probiotics, the aerobic healthy bacteria that makes up 80% of our immune system that makes our neurotransmitters will start to eat the sugar in the milk and that's when it starts to culture or turn into like a uh, kefir. They actually sell that here so it's camel milk kefir and this is Full of probiotics. These are really good to add to your smoothies or shakes. My favorite way to use raw milk is to blend it with the superconductor meal that I showed in the past video. And you could use raw cow's milk, raw goat's milk, or raw camel milk. 
and it kind of masks the flavor and it just gives it a nice body, especially when you blend honey in there and bee products. It ends up tasting really amazing and it gives you a ton of energy and you could actually just keep it on the counter and the bacteria in there will start to eat the honey and whatever other sugars you have in there and it will become even healthier than when you started. So the longer it sits, the better it will be for you. So you can just keep it out of the fridge and just sip it throughout the day. Desert Farms Camel Milk. There's websites online that say that camel, raw camel milk has helped people with celiac disease, diabetes, and lactose intolerance. It's important to understand that raw milk has the enzyme in it, lactase, that helps break down the lactose. So people that are lactose intolerant usually can't drink milk because they don't have that enzyme, but if they drink raw milk, they're getting the lactase enzyme, which will help to break down the lactose. Their body doesn't have to work and create that allergic reaction that happens. So it's definitely not a one-size-fit-all thing with milk. I've just found that personally I thrive on dairy products, particularly goat is what I have the most experience with. So next time you're at the health food store, check out Desert Farms Raw Camel Milk and comment below what you think. And ideally you try to find a farm near you where you can buy raw milk. Raw meat, usually the raw goat's milk goes for between eight and ten dollars a gallon, sometimes twelve, but eight and ten is uh, is the perfect price. Thanks for watching Divine Superconductor TV, and have a great day.